Welcome back to my channel. Lisa Holm was a pretty Swedish 17-year-old girl. She was born in a small town called Skavdi, situated southwest of Sweden. It's a beautiful area situated just beside the largest lake in the country. It's a safe and an idyllic place to live and grow up in. Lisa was very close with her parents and siblings. She also had a lot of close friends and lived a normal teenage life. She had recently split from her boyfriend. Her nature was a bit quiet and introvert but she was pretty and kind. Her dad tried to protect her as much as possible and was always in touch with her when she was away from the home. They used to communicate all the time and the parents were good parents keeping track of their daughter. With help from parents' connections she got a summer job at a cafe in Bloomberg that was situated 45 minutes by car from her house. This was her first job and she was proud to have gotten a job. She was expecting her first salary. On June 7, 2015 Lisa drove her moped to her work. Her dad had arranged a moped for her and she had taken a license in order to drive. It took her 50 minutes to get to her job and as she reached she texted her dad telling him that she had arrived. As she finished her work shift she texted her dad telling him she was driving home. The parents waited at home for her. Time passed and no Lisa had shown. As more than 80 minutes had passed the family got worried. The mother felt that something was seriously wrong and told the father to drive to look for her. He drove all the way to Bloomberg and found the place completely empty. He saw Lisa's moped standing there with the keys left in the lock. He thought this was very odd and got very worried. He started to look everywhere and called Lisa's mom. She came as well and they started looking together. He checked the bus lines as he thought that she might have taken the bus. But then again why didn't she take her makeup with her? It was left in the compartment on the moped. He just didn't understand anything. They ended up calling the police. As the police arrived they had been looking all over the place without any success. During Wednesday June 10th the search area was extended further south and east from the cafe. The organization Missing People Sweden was called in for search efforts. On Wednesday evening, an earring was found in the barn, which turned out to belong to Lisa Holm. Later, her moped driver's license and keys were also found. On Friday June 12, Missing Lisa Holm, 17, was found murdered. Now the police confirmed that her body was found at the farm east of the cafe in Blomberg where she worked and was last seen alive on June 7. The farm is a couple of hundred meters east of the home where the 35-year-old together with his brother and wife were arrested shortly before the police found Lisa Holm. Several of the properties are owned by Blomberg Sateri where the Lithuanian brothers who were suspected of the murders have been employed. The 35-year-old and his younger 31-year-old brother were detained on June 16 by the police suspected of the murder. On June 30, the younger brother was released from custody, while suspicion were strengthened against the 35-year-old man. During the trial Lisa's father spoke about his daughter. He had an outburst when the 35-year-old Lithuanian man was being questioned and screamed you are lying. The Lithuanian man was convicted for lifetime in prison. Later he was released on his own request and was sent back to Lithuania where he was stabbed and killed in prison by another inmate. Lisa was a young lovely girl with her whole future ahead of her. Her parents were always looking out for her. They were great parents and did everything right with their daughter. Even though she was taken. This story is so sad. God bless Lisa's family.